Now, up next, when the oldest mall in America was in danger of closing, they got really creative and decided to turn empty storefronts into tiny apartments. Amazing. Now, there's no such thing as a tiny apartment to a New Yorker. I mean, we know <laughs> tiny. But these apartments are about 300 square feet, and it can be, of course, a challenge to decorate something that's so small. So we sent in the big guns, our buddy, John Gidding, to help one resident out with her small space makeover. Take a look. This is the oldest still standing mall in America. It was built in 1828. It's called the Arcade, it's in Providence, Rhode Island, and it was essentially created as three levels with a massive skylight overhead, but the top two levels have been turned into tiny apartments, and we're gonna give one of them a makeover. Corinne, this is the smallest, coolest apartment I've ever been in. I How big it. is this space? Uh, under 300 square feet. Do you live large here? Because I heard you like to entertain. I do. That's one of my biggest struggles. To eat, sometimes we just eat on the couch, or we stand here and eat over the counter. If I had something that I could have, like a spread, and my friends coming through, it would be mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, you got to get a lot of function out of a small space. Since it's a rental, you can't really change the colors of the wall or change the built-ins. So everything we do has to be temporary. Correct. Well, we've got our challenge cut out for us. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> If you're renting a space and you can't paint the walls and you can't install anything permanent, removable wallpaper is a great option for creating a huge impact without damaging the walls. And then if you made a mistake or you need some help, reattaching it comes right off. A headboard is the anchor for a bedroom. It brings in the sense of design and comfort and we happen to not have one in the smallest bedroom in the world. So I'm gonna build one. I'm actually gonna use a curtain for the fabric because they're so easily available and some Christmas snow for batting. I think the person that designed this micro loft designed it for nominal dimensions of rugs because every rug I brought in here fits the room perfectly. They actually look like wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. This is a contender. I found this great Paris map print on hayneedle.com and it's exactly what this room needs. Three, two, one. Holy, wow, <laughs> it's amazing. <gasps> that is stunning. Wow, you are the best. Wow. <laughs> oh, I wow. love your place. We changed some of the flooring in here. What do you think of the carpet? The colors kind of like just bounce around and kind of cohesive and all comes together. Your computer stays, but yeah. it's in the corner. Right. So it doesn't become this sort of anchor on this side of the room. Mm -hmm. You can obviously still use it easily. Right. This is your office desk. <laughs> but at the same time, this desk can move out into the middle of the room. Maybe like a table. And this bench, check this out. You thought of everything, it's awesome. <laughs> this becomes seating. Table in front of me, and then two stools behind it. Dining for four. Okay, you ready to see the bedroom? I am. Come. More excitement. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't. This is beautiful. Oh, this is very fancy. Like, you've gone way above my expectations. Look at the curtain. Yeah. And the fabric of the curtain is what we use to create your headboard. <laughs> wow. I can't get over it. It's really great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>